Hey everyone, this is Paige from Mosaic Moments. You have probably seen the horizon die set before, right? It makes the really big circle around the page. But you also may have noticed a 2x4 horizon die. And you might be wondering, what exactly is this die for? And how do I use it? So in today's video, I am showing a, a tutorial to answer that question. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for lots of ideas using the Mosaic Moments scrapbook system. And be sure to stay through the end of the video to watch some bonus embellishing. All right, so I already made most of my layout with the Horizon die set. I have two of the dies here to show that I used them to cut the two sides and the four corners. These will be needed to create the full circle. If you would like to learn more about this set, click on the pop-up right now on the top right corner to watch that tutorial. But today's video is about the 2x4 horizon die that I just showed here. This will be used on the very top and bottom of the layout. The purpose of this die is so you can fit a full 4x6 photo in this circle design. I have the photo going vertically, but you can also do this horizontally as well. Alright, now that you have been introduced to the 2x4 horizon die, let's get started. First, I'm going to cut a mat for my 4x6 photograph. This is the 4x6 square die from set B. And as you can see, I have it at an angle so I can have a cleaner cut, and that is done. Now I'm cutting with the 2x4 horizon die, and I just got enough pattern paper here to cut out the skinny part. And this pattern paper doesn't matter which way I put it, but you may want to pay attention to where the curve is if it's a kind of paper where you don't want something to be upside down or sideways, whichever. Now I'm doing it on the other side, and again I'm flipping the curve over the other direction. Like I said, for my paper it doesn't matter, but you may have a paper where it does, so that's why I did it this way. And there you go, it was easy to cut those two pieces. And now I'm going to use the 2x4 horizon die again to cut my photo, but this time I'm going to cut out the larger side of it. In this case, I wanted to make sure the curve was pointed down because this is going to go on the bottom of my layout. So I didn't want it to go the wrong direction. This is my second photo and I'm going to make sure the curve is pointed up this time. So definitely I'm going to emphasize pay attention to where your die is going to cut in your photo. So when you lay it out, it'll go in the right direction you want. Now that everything's cut, first I'm going to glue down my large mat. So that was pretty easy. I glued down the corners in the center and placed it on the grid paper. Now I can add my photo. So I'm gluing the back and I can place it right on top, which is always really nice. I don't even need to cut that one. This is my first piece of the horizon die and you glue the back and you just line it right on that top line of your grid paper. Now I'm going to glue down my photograph and all you got to do is place it right underneath that first die, that die cut. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom except I'm going to start with the photograph this time since that will go on the top part of my grid. I can line it up on the grid easier than if I start with the bottom piece. But now that top photo's on, I can easily slip the bottom part right underneath. All right, so this is the final result right after you use the 2x4 horizon die. It's really easy to use. Like I said, you just need the horizon die set to go with it. And as you can see, the circle all aligns really well and you can fit that 4x6 photograph in. But now that I'm done with this part, I'm going to start adding some embellishments around my circle. So what's fun about the horizon die is that it allows you to use more embellishments. So if you're someone who loves stickers, you know, this is a great design to use them on because these four corners have a lot of space to work with. And so because of that, I was able to add these large stickers. 
and the horizon died all uh, the horizon die because there's this circle I'm able to line the leaves up basically along this line and I don't have to guess where they're all gonna go or anything so I like using the circle with these circle designs I like adding string or in this case I added these leaves that I made with dyes so just have fun and that's why I like the horizon dies because they're just fun and you can be experimental and add fun stickers like I did here anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned a lot and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.